sorry I'm late. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm sorry I'm late. But here we are. I am the Muppet tomorrow for a late night allegedly. Well, it's not that late. It's only seven thirty on the East Coast, and I'm gonna be honest with you. I am late because I got held up in line for my. You know, you could not get me to part with the sandwiches, and it was taking longer than expected. I am sorry. I'm late. Because blame the sandwich. Blame the sandwich. Blame my stomach. I am sorry. But a heifer gonna eat. But let me go on and drop the uh, drop the link in so that we can. All right, all right. We have our first guest added to the stream. Oh yes. Hello, hello, hello. And how are you? So let's just dig right in. We don't even have to waste any time. Let's talk about the receipts. The receipts, the receipts, the receipts. I mean, they were long receipts. They were strong receipts. They were receipts like this, where you had to unravel, unfold. They had receipt on the front, and then you had a coupon on the back for your royalty. <laughs> They had a two for one. A two for one. Two for one. Exactly. Yeah. You got five dollars off hot Johnny's. You got um, oh goodness, you have some uh 15% off some some adult um herbal refreshment. You got um an ad for ads. <laughs> do you have a steal one, get one free? Yeah, oh yeah, sure do. Sure do. I I mean, Tamika, I want to congratulate you because we haven't had an airing out that thorough since, I want to say Monique and her binder. The binder. The binder. The binder wasn't even as aired out. It was there, but like we saw, we saw old addresses. We saw emails. We saw... Forge documentate. We saw states' evidence. We saw exhibit <laughs> A through J. The red herring. I I mean, where would you all like to begin? Please, where would you all like to begin? Because this this is just so delicious. It's got to be fat. Aaron, you want to start us off? Where do you want to start? Oh, sorry. I wasn't trying to jump. I mean, did you see earlier DeBrat even confronted them on the Ricky Smiley show? She sure did. She sure did. Pregnant and all. They're <laughs> still just trying to say, let's work it out. Let us work it out as sisters. I was like, mm. You can do that if we're not if we're not talking about over fifty thousand dollars. Well, it was thirty, but once you add the taxes on it, yeah, it's about fifty. That's a year's salary. And what really hurts is not only did you steal from me, but then I had to pay taxes on the theft. I had to pay taxes on the money I never even got to spend. That hurts in a different way because it wasn't just. Federal. It wasn't just state. It was medical. It was social security. I want you to prosecute her in the name of the social security because social security be high and I ain't never going to see it, but I got to pay into it. So that's something special that sticks in my craw. Yeah, that's just adding insult to injury. Now I got to pay on taxes that you stole from me? No, nah, dog. You don't go down like that. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. I can't let you ride like that. I think Tamika has every right to do anything she needs to do in, in order to validate this claim. Hopefully she can recoup her money in some type of way from them. Uh, it's time. It is high time. I'm glad she brought it up on the show. I'm glad she let right. us... I think that this was the perfect platform. And I agree with Candy Burris. I don't know why this is only six episodes. They had so much meat. 
They should have kept filming. This could have gone on concurrent with Housewives of Atlanta because Lord knows they always try to pair Housewives of Atlanta with Housewives of OC. We go from, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the, from our aunties to a clan. I'm not going to say the clan. I'm going to say a clan. But you get what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. You, well, she's not going to pay it back with record album sales from the gospel song that's coming out. <laughs> oh, a little and rough. Then, yeah. And also, this and this feels very spiritual how everything has come oh. out in the wash. Everything has come clean. And you want to come to us with gospel, but you have so much sin in your own closet. Ooh, wait. Yeah, that's, that's a shame. Uh, why do you that poke the bear? Shame. Knowing that you're guilty. That's the stupid part. Why are you poking the bear? I'm talking about, you know, Latasha and her husband on this hobo tour. Um, knowing you're guilty. This is the, sh I can't say, S shut the bug. Anyway, this is the STFU moment for them. Mm -hmm. And all these, res these receipts are coming down like raindrops. This is when you set up a payment plan at the house. This is mm -hmm. when you make this thing go away by shutting the F up and be like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and send you their cash app or whatever your payoff plan is. Because they, I don't know what's on the delusional level, but it's getting to a point where it's federal delusions. <laughs> you could go to prison. The DA uh, is listening <laughs> I want the DA to pick it up, pick it up, <laughs> bend and snap, pick it up, pick it up. I want you to drop it low, as low as Tasha's morals, and pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be up Has to make statute, ass, so. and, and this theft seemed to be going on for a long time. Has the statute yeah. of limitations ended? I because not. this is grand larceny. An amount over 30,000, over 20,000, but less than 50. And I bet you, if to, if Tamika adds it up, it might be more than 50. This is happening most that, of the time. And that's your own flesh and blood. And I can see why she did not press charges. I can mm -hmm. see why, because she's like, I'm not sending my sister to jail and her husband right. to prison. Over $3,000. And I mean, it's a lot of money, especially when you pay taxes on it. It's a lot of money for you and for me. Mm -hmm. But for her, she's like, I can make that in a show. I am, you know, Tamika Scott, famous in my own right. I'm not going to do that. But is it setting a poor example for her nieces and nephews to let Latasha Scott go scot-free? Well, Candy's not going to let her go scot-free. Now, Candy, oh God, they knew not to do it with Candy. They knew not to mess with her money or her man. They knew, <laughs> they knew, because she get all the child. She would have had the feds at they don't. Dull. She's threatening <laughs> to sue now oh. because of Rocky and, and his claims about what he's saying about Todd. Candy, they're getting ready. They're saying oh for death of May May. That was the dumbest. That was the most crack-headedest rumor. I have ever like that you whole rant. Said, yeah, just randomly. Oh, there's a trans mm -hmm. in there too. Why not? Like what? Just use what? the hard Y. Just keep going with the hard Y. Why don't you call someone the F word with a hard T? Come on, let's get them all out there. Yeah, like that was. That is like you just further embarrassing yourself. This is like, just it's dragging SWV in it for no reason. SWV got the ish together and are minding their business. Hello. Yeah. That's so, I mean, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> that icon, I can't. Um, it looks no, like Kimar. Uh, but what was the original question? Did I miss it? Or are we just putting our take on what unfolding? We are putting our take on what's unfolding. The first question was, what do we think about Tamika's receipts? Next question, is Candy a bully or is she merely setting the record straight? I think she can be both. <laughs> Cause I think there's a, there's a part, I mean, Candy, I don't think she's like, just goes out and picks, you know, anything as a bully in that way. Um, but she's definitely about her business. so. I think she would be, you know, at least a part-time bitch. 
I, I there's no way you can make that much money and not have time set aside for that. That's just my opinion. Um, so she can do both. I think that's part of her personality too. Um, this whole thing, the receipts are 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 great receipts. It's right there in our faces. We see the plagiarism. We see the video of the ones who set up the accounts and stuff like that. It's like in a court of law, this would be a open and shut case. They'd be done deliberating by you know in twenty four hours, uh, based on what Tamika brought up. She owned her uh, her sex tape and the them trying to you know extort her and hold it over her head. She's like, okay, yeah, I did it. That's so no. stupid. We all have something on video now on camera with the iPhone. Yeah, it is no Man. big deal. I mean, it is slightly embarrassing. I'm not gonna say it means nothing. Don't get me wrong. But then that proves that you have the the tape and that you're gonna you know do revenge porn and y'all trying to drop gospel songs and extort money. Like what? Ooh, this is so not hold on. Porn. Holy. Why did she ask her sister to watch her sex tape? Who does that? She, yeah, she told her to hold it for safety. Yeah, that was stupid. That was stupid. To be like, why don't you just keep it for yourself? That's as safe as it gets. What do you mean, let your sister hold it? Get a safe deposit box. Throw it away and keep it in your memory bank. Yeah. Why give it to your sister? If now, you can't no hold sense. on to it, you don't. You shouldn't make it. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> That that is a guideline. If you are not able to stay in sole possession of your own booty reel, then <laughs> you should not make one. Right. I I don't get that. On that part, I need somebody to ask her why, close or not. Why are you giving your sibling your sex <laughs> tape to hold it? This Shut ain't kilos. Up. This is a sex tape. Especially oh. when Rocky's associated with R. Kelly. Oh. Mm. Slimy as they come. And you know, yeah, he was Rocky. definitely the dean of school of R. Kelly business management. Mm. Yeah, it's they, 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 nobody want that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Looks like he looks like door. a gremlin. He looks like a gremlin. He looks like the keeper of the house of the undying. <laughs> he looks like he passed a good 20 years ago. He looked the like he died in the one. If he dead in the looked like he got a patch on the quilt. Death <laughs> became him. Definitely. Oh. Like, I guess being dead on the inside shows up through your face. Oh. Mm -hmm. And doing you know that kind of mean say? evil stuff. Oh, yes. It's written all over your face. You're evil. That's that evil ugly. Mm -hmm. They say it's that ugly in, ugly out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this whole thing is really like, oh, it's horrible. Like, I don't know who is trying mm -hmm. to buy any song, let alone a gospel song from Natasha at this point. Does she have a song on her hit list called Karma? Because that's really where we're headed. I, I've already said uh, to Ray Ray all day, I'm like, the only thing Latasha can do now is leave him claim abuse woman syndrome and get on a whole new kick with a redemption tour. Put on your Patty Hearst beret. You know. And, Lydia, mm -hmm. and she's not, this whole thing is like, I get that you want to go solo, but if you're using the leverage enough, but you're messing up the leverage. Yeah, you of can't escape. sell your soul to the devil. You can't, you know, leverage something and mess it up at the same time. Like, I would be doing both like you can use the leverage of escape and do your solo stuff and still be present in both but you I guess think you're better than the group that that level I don't understand how you could think that but and life has it's proven that you are not better than the group no yes. it's Ooh. that husband's influence you got gotten gains yep right now Candy could act like she better than the group Candy ain't gotta sing a note and she can still make money. The rest of y'all, you better harmonize. She flies mm -hmm. above all the drama. Yep. Okay. She flies <laughs> directly me, 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 to the coin. Even with I tacky do. songs, she still gets the coin. You know, I'm just like, okay, that's the vibe. But she has like the following. She's writing. 
She's, you know, opening restaurants. She's, she has her toe in damn near everything because she knows it needs multiple streams of income. And if I were the group people, I'd take note and follow suit. Ooh. Yeah. You know? Ricky Smiley thought Tamika's mama was the accountant. <laughs> <laughs> when he saw her, he goes, they had that accountant lady on there. And DeBrat goes, that's Tiny's <laughs> mama, Ricky. <laughs> I'm like, can't you tell by the lower half of her face? Ooh. 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 The family Ooh. resemblance. That's all, that's all I'm saying. He's like, that's Barbara from HR. Family. That is what he thought. He was like, they got in that account lady. No, no. It, that was hilarious. The, the brat was like, that's Tiny's mama. <laughs> she does our taxes, y'all. Like, that's right. like, it's just our tax lady. I was in my ever She just, they, I just, I'm saying from the Cheekbones down. There's a family resemblance. <laughs> Man, did you hear the father in his, his interview? What did no, you I didn't. That was one I missed. No, he was just saying um, the the where I saw it. He was basically clearing up how there's been so many years that's gone by that he didn't know that she was upset at him like that because he done came by. The and, yeah, the mom being upset like that's why your daddy left us with nothing. And stuff right. like that, and so he's a pastor, and you know Ooh. people are coming at him. You know, <laughs> wow, because she makes it seem like he just took the fuck off and left her with nothing, and it she's is the fifth it. member. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, we've been cool. We've been, you know, apparently not. <laughs> wow. So like, he's like, well, let me speak. You know, my side. I didn't know she even felt like that because we've had interactions over the years. And spent time with our own, uh, you know, spouses or whatever. Right. We oh. dating. Like for 15 years, he's been in a marriage. He didn't, she know that she was still bitter like that. He, he would never <laughs> take by the house. She flips on a dime, though. The way she was yelling <laughs> at Tamika and then, look at me. I'm your mama. I love, like, get out of here. There's your monologue. Like, you can't okay. flip that You know fast. what? She's giving me a Gypsy Rose stage mother. Mm. Okay. Yeah, Tamika, you need to like just because they're your relatives, don't make them family. That's the part you got like, uh-uh, this is toxicity. I gotta cut this part off. Like, I love you, but I gotta love you from a distance because I'm not gonna sit up here and take verbal and emotional manipulation and abuse. Mama, no mama. I know, that's right. Oh, oh yeah, Can you definitely. imagine all this is just unraveling before your eyes on TV? I didn't think it will go this far. That's crazy. I don't think any of them did. Yeah. Like, that was the thing. Like, I don't think anybody anticipated, Tamika but knew. like. Tamika knew. Tamika had this on her heart and on her spirit. I was getting, mm -hmm. that's the part. Well, that's the part that you have to wonder because she straight up, that scene, you stole my money. Like, I, I respect having a, an amount of, like, pent-up emotion that something went down and you just mm -hmm. broke. And you were like, fuck anything you're trying to do right now. You have stolen massive amounts of money from me. So even Ooh. looking at me cross-eyed, I want to bop you. But, like... Like Jim Richards. You stole my yes. house, Kyle. Oh. I think... Just like yeah. that. I don't think yeah. Tamika want like you said Tamika didn't want to do that because of what type of charges it could bring up. So yeah. it's kind of like let me do the reality thing. There might be a little, you know, a little bit of drama, but not so deep to where I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place by my sister, you know, being possibly put in prison. That's why she didn't do it back then because you have to sue. You have to um press charges. So when this came up, of course the producers are going to produce and going to set it up to where we're going to have Mika damn near cornered to where she pop off to where you forget the cameras there. And they did, they, they did their job. Yeah. Do you think it was because the mama and Tasha, Latasha were being like so dismissive of her having any feelings that she broke? Do you know what I mean? Oh, hell like, yeah. I, I watched that situation and I'm like, I could understand I mean, I can understand Tamika breaking, period. But I was just curious what got her to go to the point for this level of expose. Because it was like, did you have an idea that she was going to ruin this new opportunity? You know what I mean? There's just a lot of things yes. going on. And it's I like, think, right? Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to agree with you, Aaron. I think that she um, knew, like she had seen her sister acting funky before filming started. And I think Tamika decided, you know what? Since she's going to pull another one of her stunts, I got a stunt for her and a stunt for my mama too. I'm going mm-hmm. to expose it all so people will finally see me for once. I think that's what it was. I think Tamika knew. I think that Latasha was funky during um, all of the pre-production because mm-hmm. so much pre-production had to happen for this show. So mm-hmm. I think I think um, Latasha was funky then, and Tamika was like, "Okay, bet Heffa, bet mm-hmm. I'm embarrass you on camera, and I know they're going to use it." Yeah, sure and that's why she came is. out the receipts because they're talking about she's using this as a storyline. Her Latasha said that about Tamika. Like, oh, I don't know if she's using this for a storyline and yada, yada. So Tamiko's like, boom, receipts, copies, videotape that, video shut everything down. They should not be saying, there's nothing else that should be said. That's that's why Tamika's like, okay, you want receipts? Whoop, there it is. You Oh, this is a plot line? <laughs> yes. Shaka-laka, shaka-laka. Okay. <laughs> Whoop, there it is. Okay. I mean, I haven't heard that so accurately used in years. <laughs> but that's exactly, and they from the 90s, so that is so perfect. That's exactly appropriate. It makes me oh, sad because really? I love it. I mean, 90s, right? Like, this is everybody, all the audience is like, this is our jam. Like, mm-hmm. what is happening here? What in the stolen <laughs> funds? And it's so funny to see SWV's reaction because, like, they've had reality shows, but um, how do I say this delicately? They weren't as successful. No one really watched. Like, they would trend a little bit on Twitter, but it was just like, oh, yay, SWV. Like, it was very, you know, lighthearted and fun, early we TV, Lifetime, I think. You know, I think maybe Bounce or TV One, like, stuff like you could barely get on cable. But yeah. now they're truly in the fray of Peacock slash Bravo. They're like, oh, we didn't know people were this rabid about their entertainment. And mm-hmm. they're like, we've worked out all our drama. We're, you know, about to be 50. Why are we doing this? Why are we arguing with people we don't know? And it's like, girl, you arguing with people you don't know so you can get your Instagram likes up so you can make money off those advertisements. That's how Portia was able to walk away from Housewives. Mm. And well, yeah, Portia, like, where it worked for her in her favor. I mean, her life is kind of jacked in a way, but nevertheless, um, she got what she wanted monetary wise. Um, I just, I just, it's you feel bad about the whole situation because the thing is, the thing with SWV in their show, it didn't go dirty level because we've become by that time, we become so desensitized, like, the drama has to drama. And I think SWV, like, oh, it's lighthearted and cute. Those things don't last but one season. So that's why it's like, damn, you need the salaciousness almost to a dirty level to continue on into multiple seasons in some places. And this went way dirty, like way deep because of Latasha's and her husband's actions. Well, this was also brewing for years and years because this isn't made up for the show. This yeah. happened. And these girls have been, this is why there's been so much infighting and we've loved Escape for years. So this has been a decade or two in the making. Yeah. And they know how to exploit that. And they do. It's like, especially when something's been brewing, you think you're going to get around it? <laughs> no. Not when when they're knowledgeable of it, um, the public is, especially production, oh, they will have it already set up for you to where, like, you know what? This is going to send her over the edge. They're going to forget the cameras are there, and we're going to get our money shot. And they got it, and we watching. Do we think that Candy Burris and Todd set this scheme up to bring us the bull? I was going to say, as devil's advocate position, no matter what, the amount of publicity and attention that SWV and Escape have collectively (laughs) from this show, I mean, I realize the heat is on right now and it's not comfortable and everybody's like, whoa, 
but we all know you have a runaway hit on a Bravo on Bra. You know, this is a runaway hit. It really is. They couldn't wish for more. You, hey, you want to get your booking price up? Here we go. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rip that family apart. <laughs> hey, SWV can sit there with popcorn and you know, and then get out and do a little. You know, I mean, not that they want they want to, not that they intentionally want to dance on anybody's grave, but they didn't dig the ditch, so they might as well. You know, <laughs> they might as well. <laughs> Get my check unscathed. I'm serious. Hey, you know, Candy made it real clear that the amount of money, the, you know, the booking power that you have has something to do with how you co-headline. Well, you got a hit TV show. Hello. I mean, this, I would definitely say they should pull up with a Brinks truck to give them money to follow the <laughs> tour. I, if they went on tour together... Oh my God, follow them on tour. Pull a Brinks truck up. Pay all of them a million dollars an episode. You will make it back. Encore, Carlos King, sit down. You're about to see how real reality TV history is made. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Ooh, that's apropos. Right? <laughs> Listen. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because that's where it's coming from. Like this, you will get this one night of cold headline, cold night headline, whatever. The point is, it's going to be a kaboom when y'all are together, like Alex said. Like, that's where you will get your fee even higher off of this show together. You know? Absolutely. So you I'm... ain't missing the money. If It's going to make it better, actually. I would definitely go see them. I like I would want to go see them live anyway. But now yes. after this show, I'm like, oh, I will pay for the meet and greet so I can see who <laughs> fight who. You know, and they don't need Natasha. They really don't. Yeah, like you would like to see all four, but after this, not anymore. Oh, I know. That's the brilliance of the whole thing. It sets you up to really pretty much be okay with X3. They, Maybe you know, you know what? Look, they can do their concert Saturday night, and then Latasha can host a gospel brunch on Sunday. Oh, the redemption tour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Except there's nothing to redeem right now. She Bam. needs to go leave that speed bump in the road and truck keep and, on trucking. And that's all he is. I feel like, especially after the interview we heard with Tasha K. Shout out to Tasha K. Right and um Rocky. I think that who the heck is this calling me? Well, I'm on the air right now. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm like I don't even recognize that number. Um, I think that Latasha that proves she is the mastermind because we could see Rocky cannot think his way out of a room. <laughs> he couldn't think his way out of an amphitheater. He couldn't think his way out of outside. I mean that really is the most profound PSA to stay off of white powdery substances that I have ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I, and also, <laughs> shout out to Tasha K for showing her face during that entire phone call. <laughs> Girl, the faces gave me my entire life. No, when I was dead. Follow me. And she shook her head. Uh-uh. Oh, when you were talking about the, the detriment of a hot dose, Alex, I was Ooh. screaming because I was like, uh, legit. He legit. gave me a hot dose tea, honey. Oh, like, hot dose tea. Cringe. <coughs> Cringe. Oh, my goodness. But I, 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 I would like to give Latasha right now the benefit of, like, brainwashed doubt to be with someone who, the way he was whispering in her ear, I mean, I'm not saying that I'm trying to absolve her of all accountability. I'm just saying that I would like to think that this is, I don't like, but I, I would hope that this really is the result of that because the betrayal level with, within your own family is really, really deep. Mm hmm so mm -hmm. I would hope that it is this little gremlin who sure does come off like a little cackle fuck 
that that's that that's what the situation is. Mm, yeah, I, I could definitely see that being part of the situation, but you know, it the the fact that even setting up the payment with the the software they were using, the music exchange, I think it was called. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You already yeah, sound exchange. Sound exchange. Yeah, sound exchange. You already sign you filled out both port your your sister's portion and yours and signed it. The exact Yeah, no, I think same. it's undeniable that she's taken part in this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And it's like in Bore Court, that's allegedly. definitely allegedly. <laughs> right, allegedly. Right. It's very apparent allegedly that very she apparent, allegedly, allegedly from the alleged proof that we've allegedly seen. Right. <laughs> that we've alleged, you know. If, what were you trying <laughs> the to alleged see? the alleged documents, the alleged evidence that's undeniable, allegedly. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if those things go together, but yeah. Um, I'm just like, okay. In the moral court, we can, you know, consider the context of, you know, like you said, battered women's syndrome. But in the court of law, right. Like, um, I get all that, honey, but this allegedly looks like your signature. Uh, you know, it's like fraud, wire, wire fraud, you know, wire fraud, fraud, bank fraud, all kind of fraud. And, and she said also, it wasn't just 30,000. Why is the mother so hell bent on protecting Latasha to Jamaica's detriment? Why is it okay to steal from Tamika? Why is Tamika less than? I love Tamika. Because mama don't help spend the money. Mama don't help spend the money. <laughs> She's like, you Ooh. know what? I'm protect because I'm going down too. If she go down, and you can tell that mama can't manage money by the that forty dollar wig she had on. Because I know those girls have paid good money for her to have better hair pieces than that shit she was running around in. Because I'll tell you this, Candy Burris. <laughs> She may not be able to dress to save her life and her may and her makeup may look like melted Crayola rocks on your lips, but she will definitely make sure that her mother is not in a wig that looks that foolish. They may be Mama Joyce wigs, but you could tell they are $99.95 at the absolute least. That apple was running around in a $29.95 that had been washed. Not washed, washed. <laughs> Synthetic realness. Um, yeah, but you yeah, her mom. One of the Reese or Caprice's wigs. It looked like a Halle Berry thriller wig after the movie was shot. Yeah, I can I can hear the crunch of the plastic. I'm just like, mm, <laughs> turn this down. Oh yeah, I mean, Mama Mama Joyce, you know, is definitely on some gutter, but her hair is not. I will tell you that. Her do might be gutter, but that hair be silked pressed, okay? I give her that. But she still have her man. Um, she keeps him off camera, probably. probably. Ooh, Mama Joyce? Mama Joyce. I mean, Candy gotta get her freak from somewhere. <laughs> I love that song. He was like, he was like, I'm a old hoe. With my shaking go, hey, but let it flow. <laughs> Talking about Mama Joyce's wig, I was just like, I oh can't. My God. With my shaking go, <laughs> Who yes. wrote that? you did. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> y'all, that's that, that. Who wrote that? That sounds funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was Mama like, I oh, oh shit, that was me. Yeah. Mama Joyce has steel magnolias wigs, you know. Ooh. <laughs> she walk around looking like Malin. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, jeez. With that brown, mm-hmm. you know. Tyler Pitt, like she was up being um Olympia Dukakis. Sheree would be Weezer. No, Sheree wouldn't be Weezer because Weezer has money. Um, <laughs> Kenya I know, would right? be Weezer. I know. Kenya would be Weezer. Kenya has money? Mm-hmm. Kenya has money. 
Kenya's very smart with her money. You never hear about her in debt news. And she's got um, her hair care products within Sally Hansen stores. She got some coin. So oh. I guess that must be why she's still uh, trying to get divorced from that charlatan. Mm -hmm. Were they ever met? Did they provide the marriage certificate? That's what I want to know. Um, I think it's more of a symbolic marriage. <laughs> I do. Like Eddie Murphy and um, Mel B from the Spice Girls. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought it was, was going to seem like a symbolic divorce. It's been taking years. Man. Well, it needs a plot think, line. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, we'll play the divorce thing. Like, you got your baby. We'll play the divorce, you know, to benefit my check and my pockets. It makes sense. Now, who is the better singer in the group and versus Tamar the Muppet Braxton? Who do you think has the best vocal skills? Because they've all, you know, compared runs and hits and misses. Who do we think has really the vocal chops amongst all of these ladies? Coco. I said it. Go, go. It's just, I maybe because I favor her tone of voice, because um, you can say that about Tasha. But, um, and I know uh, Tiny can sing good. You barely hear her sometimes, but when she blows, she can blow. But hands down, Coco, nobody matches that voice for me. Nobody. Maybe Patty, look, she's up there with Patty LaBelle and them. Ooh. And them. Okay. Yep. That's, that's just for me. What, what, what y'all think? Jump on in. Yeah, I'm just, everybody goes to, everybody go to the restroom? Oh, no, I think it's hailing oh. outside. Sorry, y'all. I was oh, okay. like, Ooh! I'm in Southern California, and I'm like, I actually think it's hailing. Oh, my um, God, me too. I agree with you that it's Coco. I agree. I just think there's a uniqueness and a tone. I mean, you know, we all we all get so weak. Mm. Yeah. I How about well, I'm sorry, we'll see. Rare, I'm I'm high right now. Ray Ray, what do you think? Ray Ray, yeah. I think it's thundering and snowing. Oh what? cool. What what about the voices? Like Oh no, it's just it's crazy that they're having this weather event in the middle of California. It's sunny where I am in Northern California, but it was raining. Was it raining earlier? It might have been. <laughs> but yes, Ray Ray, who do you think has the best voice amongst all these ladies? Okay, well, sorry, who are the ladies again? S from anybody from SWV, Escape, and Tamar Braxton, since she wanted to throw herself in there. Okay, we'll throw her back out automatically. <laughs> ah! Um, ah! So we'll just deal with escaping ah! SWV. <laughs> Honestly. Ah! 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 So um, it's either Coco or uh, La Stila. And ah! I think I, I'm going to put my money on Coco. Okay. So it's unanimous because I'm actually going with Coco too. Mm -hmm. Well, this has been a fabulous open forum on all of the drama and the shade that these heifers have been throwing. I think we can all agree this has been one of the most entertaining spinoffs that Candy Burris has been a part of. I mean, yeah. I That's want amazing. a season two so bad. So let's do a round robin out with our final thoughts. Do we have any, Erin? Anything we're looking I, forward to with the last uh, last two episodes? I'm looking forward to season two. I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all need to come back. I don't care if this has been painful, a painful entry, no loo, <laughs> whatever. The way that yeah. everyone and their mamas have been talking about you all and your mama. Let's all get back, you know, keep it up. Veronica? Oh, yeah. I, I look forward because I don't know what I look forward to because everything's happening offline. Um, <laughs> I'm just like, I'm looking forward to 
uh, what they do on social media, to be honest with you. Um, the next, I would like to see things unfold and have their reaction to it. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to their reaction to the episodes that come out. And I'm also looking forward to season two. All right. And Ray Ray? Well, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to Tamika getting reimbursed all of what she's lost <laughs> from those who have taken her money. <laughs> I am looking forward to a very prosperous uh, year for everyone involved, especially SWV. Uh, these are some grown A women that Escape can really look up to and really take heed from considering where they've come from as well. And we'll just, you know, catch me on you on YouTube if you can. That's pretty much it. Hey. Oh. All right. Well, thank you all so much for joining me. And I will see you all soon for the next Open Forum. And um, link will be in the chat. Other people, do not be afraid to shimmer me on in and sound off with your opinion. We always keep it light, fun, and friendly over here. Well, I will see y'all soon. For some. All right. Thank you. Bye. Good night.